everyone, it's TVC Mario, and you're here for another edition of Satanic Illuminati Media Exposed. In today's video, I needed to share this video clip with you here. 2016 X-Files exposes elite's genocidal plan for global banking collapse to alien deception. I'm going to leave this linked up in the description section, but I wanted to take the time here to go over this. The reason is I've been well documenting in this media analyzing Siri the fact that the elite are using media in the world today to mind control the masses. And one of the methods is in fact to hide the truth in plain sight. This desensitizes the masses to the reality that is truly going on behind the scenes. And I mean, this is literally classic 100% truth hidden in plain sight in a fictional TV show in order to mind control, desensitize the masses so they really don't have a clue what's going on. So I won't take too much more time here. I'll go ahead and uh, start playing this for you and comment. But here, check this out. This is the truth hidden in plain sight. It's running on toroidal energy, so-called zero point energy, simply the energy of the universe. You're talking about free energy? That we've had since the 40s. No fuel, no flame, no combustion. Simple electromagnetic field. Technology kept secret for 70 years while the world ran on petroleum. Oil companies making trillions. What I'm going to show you next is the most unbelievable part. Gravity warp drive? How? Element 115. Where did you get it? This warrants a little bit of exploration and explanation. I would imagine for most X-File fans, Element 115 is something they're probably familiar with. But for those who have forgotten, Element 115 is an element that Bob Lazar, back in 1989, famous Area 51 whistleblower Bob Lazar, claimed was the element responsible for terrestrial UFOs. It's the element that powered the UFOs. And what's absolutely crazy about that 1989 claim is that just recently, in the past couple of years, element 115 was officially added to the table of periodic elements along with the atomic numbers of 113, 117, and 118. Now in this next clip, we need to talk about what the elite like to do, which is to hide in plain sight, to tell us exactly what they're going to do before they do it. I won't say another word, listen to this. Why do such a thing lie about it? Our own government. Your own government lies as a matter of course, as a matter of policy. The Tuskegee experiments on black men in the 30s, Henry had a lax. What are they trying to do? That's the missing piece. But it's not hard to imagine a government hiding, hoarding alien technology for 70 years at the expense of human life and the future of the planet. Driven not only by corporate greed, but a darker objective the takeover of America. And then the world itself, by any means necessary, however violent, or cruel, or efficient, by severe drought, brought on by weather wars, conducted secretly using aerial contaminants and high altitude electromagnetic waves, in a state of perpetual war, to create problem, reaction, solution scenarios to distract, enrage, and enslave American citizens at home, with tools like the Patriot Act and the National Defense Authorization Act which abridge the Constitution in the name of national security. The militarization of police forces in cities across the U.S., the building of prison camps by the Federal Emergency Management Agency with no stated purpose, the corporate takeover of food and agriculture, pharmaceuticals and healthcare, even the military in clandestine agendas to fatten, dull, sicken, and control a populace already consumed by consumerism. And I encourage you all to go shopping more. A government that taps your phone, collects your data, and monitors your whereabouts with impunity. A government preparing to use that data against you when it strikes. And the final takeover begins. The takeover of America. By a well-oiled and well-armed multinational group of elites that will call, kill, and subjugate. Happening as we sit here. It's happening all around us. The other shoe waiting to drop. It'll probably start on a Friday. The banks will announce a security action necessitating their computers to go offline all weekend. 
Digital money will disappear. They can just steal your money? Followed by the detonation of strategic electromagnetic pulse bombs to knock out major grids. What will seem like an attack on America by terrorists or Russia. Or a simulated alien invasion using alien replica vehicles that exist and are already in use. An alien invasion of the U.S. The Russians tried it in 47. You can't say these things. I'm going to say them tomorrow. All right, there you have it, everyone. The short clip from the new X-Files. I mean, that had so much, so much truth hidden in plain sight. It's mind-blowing. Um, for those of you who have been studying this for a long time, you're well aware of that. But for those of you who don't know, just rewind. Listen to that. That is 100% legitimately what is going on in the world today. It is the truth about the world hidden in a TV show. And it's propaganda for you to mind control you so you don't have a clue what is truly going on. Uh, I mean, they talked about lying about secret technology. That's something I talked about on this YouTube channel, that the government is working with alien forces, you could call them. Uh, I'm going to call them what the Bible calls them, and that is fallen angels, uh, beings who had a war against God and the heavenly host and were cast down to this planet and are now working with their henchmen to establish the Antichrist kingdom in the world today and exchanging technology. So that is why there's been a rapid advance in technology is because the governments have been communicating with the fallen angels. Uh, that the world now is buying into the idea that they're somehow aliens. Um, so, you know, he even went on and said there's a takeover of the world uh, by these organizations taking place, that they're going to engineer uh, all sorts of secret warfare going on, secret uh, weather technology and stuff like that, and keep us in a perpetual state of war. And that's exactly the methodology that I've been saying they have and will continue to use. Order out of chaos. And he even says in the show to create problem reaction solution scenarios to distract, enslave, and, er and enrage American citizens. <laughs> so, I mean, it's right there, literally in your face. Even going as far as talking about the Patriot Act and the uh, National Defense um, Authorization Act and how all that is in against the Constitution of the United States, but it was brought in under the name of national security, but that was a scam. Again, that's the truth. The militarization of police forces, the building of secret camps, and everything that they literally just said is legitimately going on. So why is that? Why are they placing the truth in plain sight? Well, it's a desensitization tactic, a mind control tactic. But uh, I wanted to share that with you because it really just emphasizes everything that we've been researching and shows that in the media, truth is being hidden in front of the sheeple so that they don't have a clue what is actually taking place when it comes to world events. And the interesting thing as well is the X-Files uh, just happens to be aired when the CIA decided to release ten thousands of declassified x-files on aliens flying saucers and other unexplained phenomenon so if you think this is just coincidence that they're doing it and you think that the movie the martian with matt damon being released when they talked about uh nasa finding water on mars i mean perfectly coinciding with the release of the movie I mean, you need to wake up and come out of the box here. Uh, this is by design. I mean, they're literally releasing all these X-Files, externalizing to the public this truth. This is what's happening and taking place. It's called the externalization of the hierarchy. They are hiding the plans in plain sight in order to mind control the masses. And this was a pure example uh, in the X-Files new revived television series. Thanks for taking the time, everyone. This is TVC saying stay vigilant and fear no evil.